Hey, Shalom. Before I get started, I want to say, Kaal Laim La, Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Racha Kodash, which means give our praises to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, which is our Lord and Savior, and to the Holy Spirit. Nathan Masanaka Ba'ala Hazakrim, Shah Yahshua Allah, which means give the honors to the elders of Israel, which is the apostles and elders of great men, known who teach and will wear. Shalom wa halbachaya shayash Allah, which means peace and love to the lake of Israel. And coming back again through the spirit power of Yahabashim Shabashim Chakwadash with another lesson. I don't brought out now from the Jim Smith's count basically on um, name of this lesson is present your body as a living sacrifice. So I'm going to get into it, let the scriptures do the talking, and Lord willing, you be edified. So I'm going to start with the book of Sirach, 35 and 4. Thou should not appear empty before the Lord, yeah, how about my shot? For all these things are to be done because of the commandment, right? We are not allowed, supposed to uh, appear empty before the Lord, man. You know? Let's keep going. It said, The offering of the righteous might get the altar fat, and the sweet savor thereof is before the Most High. The sacrifice of a just man is susceptible and the memorial thereof should never be forgotten so back in verse 4 that should not appear empty before the Lord why because it's because the Lord requires a sacrifice and what's that sacrifice now our body Romans 12 1 I beseech you therefore brethren by the mercies of the most high that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto Yahweh Shemashah, which is your reasonable service, right? Our body is the sacrifice. We ought to give our lives up to Yahweh Shemashah and not trying to make it, man, on this side, man. Because remember, we are not allowed to, <laughs> so I thought about for that should not appear empty before the Lord, man. And right now in this time frame, and you want to make it, you got to present your body as a living sacrifice, man. It's only right by giving up your life, man. The Lord did it, you know. This is Luke 9, 24. For whosoever will save his life shall lose it. But whosoever will lose my so like will lose his life, but whosoever will lose his life for my sake, the same shall save it. Right, man. So it's only right to give your life up for Yahweh so much He did it. And scripture say, arm yourself likewise, man, with the same mind. You see? So it's only right to lose your life for Yahweh so much man. So you can find it. So you can save it, man. That's the sacrifice. The Lord requires a sacrifice, man. And this time for our body is the sacrifice. And ultimately, the Lord, Yahweh Shai himself, paid the way when he offered himself up, man. And now we are bought with a price. Lord, will I grab that one, man. Let's read verse 25. For what is a man advantage if he's gained the whole world and lose himself or be cast away? Wait, you see? So these speak to the ones that sold out, man. They didn't want to lose their life for Yahweh Shemesh our namesake, man. They wanted the fame, the glory, the riches. He's going to lose it, man. He are going to be destroyed, man, when the Lord come back, man. Because he didn't sacrifice himself, man. He, let's go back to Romans. Because this takes a lot. Romans 12, 1. I beseech you, therefore, I, I beg you, brethren, by the Moses of the Most High, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto the Most High, which is your reasonable service, right? It's your reasonable service. NLT. And so, dear brothers and sisters, I plead with you to give your bodies to the Most High because of all He has done for you. Right? You see? It's all in right. Because of all He has done for you, for us, let them be a living and holy sacrifice, the kind He will find acceptable. You see? This is the truly, this is truly the way to. To worship him, right? This is the only way of worshiping your habit so by giving your body up, presenting your body to live a living sacrifice, man. Sacrificing your time, man. 
Not trying to make it on this side, man. Let's go out on second Timothy's two and three. That therefore endure hardness is a good soldier of you. How shall my shot? No man that wear it entangling himself with the fields of this life, that he may please him who had chosen him to be a soldier. Right? We're not trying to make it on this side. You see, we gave that up. We became dead to the one. We became dead in your house shop, man. You see? We're not trying to make it, man. You know? <laughs> we say we are dying just to live, man. You know? So, hey, that's the point, man. We're not trying to make it, bro. We gave all that up, man. We're forsaking all. So we can see uh, immortality, everlasting life, to receive crowns, man. You see? Let's read five. And if a man also strive... For masteries, yet is he not crowned, except he strive lawfully. Not and athletes cannot win the prize unless they follow the rules. And what's the rules? Doing the work, laboring, man. Presenting your body is a living sacrifice, which is a reasonable service, which is acceptable, man. You see, cause we are bought with a price. Let's grab it. First Corinthians six. Let's start in 19. Man. First Corinthians 6 and 19. What? Know you not that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit, which is in you, which ye have of the Most High? And you are not your own, right? You don't belong to yourself, man. You didn't create yourself, man. You didn't create your body, man. You see? Verse 20. For you are bought with a price. Therefore glorify the Most High in your body and in your spirit, which are of the Most High. Right, man? We are bought with a price, man. So we are to uh, glorify, you know, worship the Most High. By treating our body, it's a living sacrifice, man. Which is acceptable, man. This is how you're going to uh, make it, man. Sacrificing your time, man. Two yabas from a shot, doing the work, laboring, man. You see? The Lord uh, shed his blood, man. Sorry, we are bought with a price, man. You know? And that's plain and simple. So let's grab one more. We're not in it. Jay got to hit the plantation, man. Lord willing on the 18th. You know, shit get real, man. <laughs> let's grab uh, folks, Peter 2, uh, um, 2 and 5. Ye also is lively stones, a build up a spiritual house, a holy priesthood, to offer up spiritual sacrifices. And how can we offer up spiritual sacrifice? By treating our bodies a living sacrifice, which is our reasonable service. Remember Apostle Paul saying in uh, Corinthians, Woe unto me if I preach not the gospel, man. You see, if you're not laboring in the vineyard, what are you doing? You are idle. Meaning what? You are worthless, man. You you are in vain. The Lord not looking for that, man. He accept. He want. He require a sacrifice, man. You see, so you also as lively stones are built up a spiritual house, and a holy priest. Uh, it's like a holy priesthood to offer a spiritual sacrifice, acceptable to the Most High by Yahweh Shai Mashiach. Right? You see, so we gotta give our lives up, man. You know what, uh, you know what, this just came to my spirit. I ain't it right here. You know what the spirit allowed to. But this Philippians 3 and 8. Let's start at 7. But what things were gained to me, those I counted loss for how much shot. Yeah, doubtless. And I count all things but loss for the excellency of the knowledge of your house shot, my shot, my Lord. For whom I have suffered the loss of all things. And do count them but shit. I mean dung, which is the same thing. That I may win Hamas. Yeah, and that's the point. You know, this life is temporary. It said the fashion of this world passes away. Well, not give your life up, man. It say greater love. Let's grab it, John 15. And 13. Greater love had no man than this. That a man lay down his life for his friends. Who done that? Yahweh Shah. 14. Ye are my friends if you do whatsoever I command you, right? And what did the Lord command us to do? Feed his sheep. Keep his commandments. 
So we ought to um arm myself likewise, man. Let's grab it. This is the second time I said it. For Peter 4 and 1. For as much then as how much God has suffered for us in the flesh, arm yourself likewise with the same mind, right? With the same attitude, man. The same mindset, man. So the Lord did it, you know. We we got to do it. That's the mentality we got to have, man. The Lord died for us. We should die for him, you know. The Lord suffer. We should suffer. And, and, and it's part of it. That's part of us building our, our cross. Denying ourselves daily. Exam, examining ourselves, man. You, what it said, if you not examine yourself, are you weapon baits? Weapon and paraphrasing it? Let's grab it. I know I said I'm going to end, but, man, just, man, I don't know what to call it. But this is uh, 2 Corinthians 13 and 5. Examine yourselves whether ye be in the faith. Prove your own selves. Know ye not your own selves. How that your house shot, my shot is in you, except you be reprobates. But I trust that you should know that we are not reprobates, right, man? So we got to examine ourselves daily, man. And it's truth, man. Back in 1 Peter 4 1, for as much then as how much has suffered for us in the flesh, arm yourself likewise with the same mind. Remember, Sirach 2 and 1, you come and serve the Lord, prepare yourself for temptation. Patient going through suffering, man. And the scripture saying also throughout the second chapter, woe to you that have lost patience. We got to endure. We got to deny ourselves. Let's say 2 Timothy, the second chapter. Therefore, I endure all things for the elect's sake. So arm yourself likewise with the same mind, for he that has suffered in the flesh has ceased from sin. Right. So right, man. So uh, that's the point, man. Present your bodies to live a sacrifice. Let's read that one more time. I want to read down the two. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of the Most High, that you present your body to live a sacrifice, wholly acceptable unto the Most High, which is a reasonable service. And be not conformed to this word, but be you transformed by the renewing of your mind, right? Being baptized, being born again, that you may prove what is that good, and acceptable, and perfect real, the most high, right, man? So we are bought with a price, man. You know? And we got to get the blood off our hands, man. <laughs> you see? So, right, once again, I want to give our praises on the glory to Yahweh, by Shema Shabbat, by Shema Chakodash. The bondage to the apostles and elders of great wisdom who teach and will well. And peace and love to the let. You know, Lord willing, this lesson was edified to the let. So once again, you know, Kronash Allah Baba.